this morning. It's going to be good, very good. Good morning, America. And bad, breaking bad. Get this, we've got her fashion secrets. Plus, it's Tyler Perry and Aaron Paul live. So put some happy in your morning. This morning on ABC's Good Morning America. Hello to our fans online. I'm Marcy Gonzalez. And I'm John Muller with the top stories on this Wednesday, March 12th in San Francisco, a nine story apartment building under construction. Not much more left after a smoldering pile of rubble. The fire broke out around five last evening, filled the sky with dense black smoke. Fire suppression systems had not been installed in the building yet, and it made it a lot more difficult to battle those flames, which spread quickly, threatening other buildings in the area. Fire crews did get a handle on the flames before they could spread too far. They will be working later in the morning to try to put it out completely. One firefighter suffered second degree burns. A skier has died in an avalanche in Montana. Investigators say the 27 year old was skiing in the backcountry and may have set off an avalanche. He was buried in the snow and died. Also yesterday, an 18 year old snowmobiler died in an avalanche in Cook City, Montana. Experts say there is more danger of avalanches right now because of heavy, wet snow and rain. It was an incredible finish to what they call the last great race on earth, the annual Iditarod sled dog race in Alaska. Dallas Seavey and his team crossed the finish line yesterday morning, finishing the 1,000 mile race in eight days, 13 hours, four minutes and 19 seconds. The second place finisher came in just two oh minutes and 22 seconds later. It was Seavey's second Iditarod win, and it was good enough to easily set a new record. His victory earns him bragging rights as well as $50,000 and a new truck. And while in New York for some fundraising, President Obama stopped off at the Gap to pick up a few things for the ladies in his life. He rejected a saleswoman's suggestion of V-neck sweaters for his daughter, saying he was worried they would slip off their shoulders. So he chose a button-down crew necks instead, going for the conservative look there. And after considering some socks for the first lady, socks, really? <laughs> <laughs> he went with a blue workout jacket. Good choice. Of course, very little is spontaneous in the life of a president. A spokesperson said the president chose the gap to make a pitch for raising the minimum wage and to show support for the chain's voluntary decision to increase wages. Men buying clothes for women. It's a risky it proposition. It sure is. All right. Well, you can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Marcy Gonzalez. I'm John Muller. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Saturday night, it's time for Nightline Prime. And on the premiere, we're taking you into the shady world of bootleg butt enhancements. No, you heard me right. Bootleg butt enhancements? Nightline Prime premieres Saturday at 9, 8 central on ABC.